4,000 miles west of China, another tale of celestial beings influencing civilization can be found, this time in what is now modern-day Iraq. The Babylonian legend of Enuma Elish dates back to the 7th century BC. The text was first discovered in 1849 by British archaeologist Sir Austin Henry Layard while searching the ruins of the library of Ashurbanipal in Nineveh. The story tells of how the first humans were created by an extraterrestrial race known as the Anunnaki. evolution the solution or contradiction i often listen to opinions that are cause confliction but i'm open-minded so i don't resort to violence they say we came from the apes some say we're creations of aliens who came and made us in labs with their dna strands and the image of them they were put to the sun back to the stars and we labor them gods if that's who we are then today we are lost or maybe we're not there's a god in the eden rail but the starship seen in films Because I like success, I want a life that's blessed like Will Smith That's real shit, feel this Scientology is the key, or May it's on the read to achieve more Would you sell your soul, knowing to hell you go But you could dwell in a world that be filled with dough In the garden of Eden real Or the starship seen in films Zoning like Galileo, I'm zoning like Galileo The man really walk on the moon quick Or was that shit forged by Kubrick? Zoning like Galileo, I'm zoning like Galileo It's the garden of Eden real Or the starship seen in films Zoning like Galileo We were created in the laboratory by genetic manipulation, just as we're able to do now. We are the peeping toms of the universe. Finally, we've got the capability to learn. We may not, whether or not we're alone in the universe, who knows, but we've got places to visit. You know, and we can't get there with the technology that we have. that the likelihood of life evolving around them, even if it were possibilities of one in a million, there would be hundreds of millions of worlds in the universe. In the universe.